Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back. So in this video we're going to create a custom button for our continue with Facebook. So we're going to remove this uh, default old uh, button and we're going to create a new one. So inside our drawable resource, a drawable directory, we're going to create a new drawable resource file. The name should be uh, custom uh, FB button. So click OK. And we're going to copy uh, this code from our previous custom button. And we're going to change just the color to blue. So I have already added this color uh, inside the color XML file. And here I'm going to remove this button and uh, add a new one. So let's connect constraints top left and right. So uh, left and right should be to zero and the top maybe 16. Okay. And now I'm going to customize this button. So first let's change the ID to custom uh, FB button, something like that. Uh, text should say uh, sign in with uh, Facebook. Okay, and let's copy those three attributes from above. All right. And let's add the background attribute and let's link our new uh, custom button here. Okay, let's add a match parent for width and for height 65 dp. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add a vector asset. So here inside the drawable directory, click uh, new vector asset here. And I have already uh, chose this uh, asset uh, vector file of Facebook logo from my uh, desktop. So I'm going to import this vector file. And uh, here on our button, I'm going to add attribute named uh, drawable uh, left and the drawable start. So I'm going to link this, uh, this uh, vector file here. So drawable start as well. So we don't have this warning. Okay. And now let's check it out. So we need to add a padding to our uh, button here. So our button should be something uh, like uh, even better than this. So as you can see now, uh, now it looks even better. So uh, now that we have set, uh, set it up, we're going to go back to our main activity and we're going to remove this login button. And instead we're going to add just a regular button here. Okay, let's import that and uh, down below we're going to remove this login button and we're going to add uh, and find the ID of our new button here. Okay, so let's remove this one, we don't need it. And uh, so now we're going to use uh, on click listener here for our button and here we're going to set the login manager, get instance and uh, login with uh, read permissions. We're going to pass main activity as a first parameter and there's a second array in which we're going to set email and public profile. So this will replace the code uh, from the below from our login button. So we're going to remove that uh, line of code and we're going to add uh, a register callback here with our login manager as well. So get instance and uh, a register callback and here we're going to pass our callback. So I'm going to copy this uh, code from the brackets. I'm not going to cut that or copy and paste that here and I'm going to remove all this code from our login button so we don't need that anymore. Alright, so I think uh, now everything will uh, should work perfectly fine as uh, already as it was. So let's check it out. So we have our prettier button here and when we click that we were going to still get redirected to our Facebook where we are going to, uh, where we are going to give permission to our application and of course get uh, redirected to our welcome activity. So it works perfectly fine. Uh, so uh, that will be all for this uh, tutorial series. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one.